This gets tricky, and it's going to come down to how, how guys play. It, it, then Alvarez can continue to make a case for himself if he wants. Alvarez has been a really impressive young player, and I've talked to prominent men, members of this pitching staff who don't want to say it publicly because they don't want to disparage the other catchers, but have told me they like throwing to Alvarez. They would be disappointed if he were optioned. But there's the business side of the game, of course. They have four catchers who they like in the mix, the ones you just named. The only one with options is Francisco Alvarez, and if you're the organization, you're kind of like, Come on, he's 21. 21-year-olds 21, 21 get optioned here and there. Is they getting mm -hmm. experience? Like, what's the big deal? So there's a couple different ways to think of it. I would look at it like this. Narvaez is definitely going to be on the team when right. he's healthy. So then you look at Nito, Sanchez, and Alvarez. Do you want to lose Nito and Sanchez from your organization completely? That's what would happen. Right. You'd have to DFA them or, or cut them, release them. Uh, that's not something that they want to do right now. But if Sanchez doesn't have anything... That, that's easier. If, if Nito continues to need more time to come back from his IL stint with his vision issue, that could help. So a lot of different things could break different ways, but if everybody's ready and everybody's healthy, it's going to be tough for them to find a way to keep Alvarez on the Major League roster in the short term. Here's what I will say. There's no way that they can send Francisco Alvarez down for Tomas Nito or Gary Sanchez. Did you, you just can't what do it. Now, San, now if, if Alvarez struggles here over the next two, three weeks, really goes into a bad slump, which, by the way, all signs are pointing the opposite. True. Like, he looked overmatched last year. He struggled this year to start. He was called up out of necessity due to injury. Now he's finally starting to have some confidence and look like he's getting it as a big leaguer. You cannot do it. There's just no way. Especially with his defense. See, that was the main question everybody had with Alvarez. You right. mentioned a few minutes ago the idea that the veteran pitchers like throwing to him. So you have that. You have the seal. He's hitting. He's tearing the cover off the ball. That's a tough the, sell, the, man. The one thing I want to say about the defense on the other side, and this is not to disparage him at all. It's just right. he's 21. There's a learning curve. The way we look at catcher defense, and Terry, I'll be interested in if Terry wants to engage this at all. People talk. There's things you can look up now, like framing stats, pop time, things like that. But what catcher defense really, I think, comes down to is the ability to work with the pitcher on what pitch to throw, the game calling aspect, the human management aspect, and it's a lot to ask for a 21 year old to be able to do that. Now, pitchers like him, he's on the right track, but when we talk about catcher defense, about framing, blocking, that's not really what I mean. I mean like the art of being a veteran catcher with the pitcher. All right, Terry, what do you think here? How should the Mets handle their catching situation? Who would be your primary catcher, the vet Narvaez, or would you go with Alvarez? I'll go with whoever you can win with. That's who I'm going with. I'm going to tell you right now, you know, that this guy has really come up. He's done a nice job. He's learned. He listens. I, I, you know, I saw where Verlander said, hey, look, he's, you know, he spent a lot of time talking about a pregame approach. And, and, you know, and, and so what you're looking at is a young guy who's starting, he's getting it. And I'm going to tell you what, if he's the best guy, then he plays. I mean, this team's built to win. You're going to, you know, to send a guy down because he's got about, you know, he's got options left right now when you're supposed to win. And there's, and he's your best, he's your best offensive player. He, he may be one of your best defensive players. I don't get that. With this particular club, I'm going to play the guy that I can win with.